Throughout my adult life, I've worked full time, first as an attorney, and then directing small nonprofit disability organizations. Yet, as someone who uses breathing assistance, whenever I go out and about, I'm constantly pressured by the common attitude that severe disability is a fate worse than death. The ableist judgment prevalent in society becomes grounds under assisted suicide laws for carving out a deadly exception to long-standing public policies about suicide prevention services by offering suicide assistance instead. Although promoted as a means to relieve pain, the top five reasons people request assisted suicide are actually not pain or even fear of future pain but rather psychosocial concerns that are all too familiar to the disability community. Feelings of loss of autonomy or dignity, being less able to engage in some activities, losing control of bodily functions, and feelings of being a burden on others. It's vital that we work to address these concerns and offer meaningful services rather than a streamlined path to death.